Poor Donald is so upset and hungry. But all there is to eat is paper thin bread and one tiny slice of one tiny bean. That doesn't seem like a very well balanced meal to me. Let's go over here to our computer to see if we can uh, compute different ways to help Mickey, Donald, and Goofy to share. Sadly, there's only one loaf of bread. But how many people have to share it? Let's count them. One, two, three. Three people. Exactly. Three hungry friends. So how many slices do we need to cut the loaf into so everybody gets a fair share? Maybe two slices will do? Oh, no. Poor Donald. No, two slices aren't enough. Donald doesn't get his fair share, and he doesn't seem very happy about it. So then... How many slices does the loaf need to be cut into to feed Mickey, Donald, and Goofy? Three slices. Very good. To share something between three people, you have to cut it into three slices. First, count the number of people. One, two, three. Three people. So you cut the loaf into the same number of slices. One, two, three. But Mouse and Duck cannot live by bread alone. Do you want to try another fair share? Yeah. yeah. Can you count how many beans there are to share? One, two, three. Three beans. Just enough to make a three bean salad. Except, of course, we don't have any salad dressing. Hmm. Now, do you remember how many people have to share these three beans? Three. Three, three people. Exactly. So how many beans does each person get to make sure everyone gets a fair share? Two should be enough, I think. No. Oh, no. <laughs> You're right. Mickey got two, but Goofy only got one. Poor Donald goes beanless again. Sorry, Donald. Let's try it another way. So, how many beans does each person get to make sure everyone gets a fair share? One. Very good. To share three beans with three people, each person gets one bean. A veritable feast for our poor peasants. The only question I have left now is, what am I supposed to eat? Apple.